you know, you're referencing August and I have to like look behind me and think August is way over there. Looking at the clock and I'm looking at that too and I'm like, oh, two is so sassy. It's like, my name's Bailey, my name's Purple. Well, I have what you call spatial sequences. My type of synesthesia is object personalities. No, I form a synesthesia is sound to color synesthesia. Synesthesia is a neurological phenomenon where one sensory stimulation or cognitive pathway leads to an automatic involuntary experience in another sense or cognitive pathway. Synesthesia comes in a few different forms and even within a form, each person's experience differs. Well, I have what you call spatial sequences, um, and that's where your brain kind of takes a time line and puts it into a pattern. So basically, for my year, July is like way over there, January's right here, December's over there, August is way over there, and it kind of just goes in this little circle. My type of synesthesia is object personalities. So I give numbers and letters and those kind of things, personalities and moods and genders, I guess. And yeah. You know, I form a synesthesia is sound to color synesthesia. So I hear sounds and I see colors in response to them. And also I have grapheme synesthesia. So I see like shapes um, with colors too. So on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I see color in everything. I can't control it, so everybody's voices, music, um, sounds, everything has color to me. And so since I see it so frequently, it just kind of goes to the back of my head, like I don't really, you know, pay much attention to it. It's not like everything is so distracting because I'm seeing all these colors, but um, it makes life more enjoyable. I think it adds a little spark to life. Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, anytime somebody's planning something, I have to think about that location. Um, I pretty much just plan in the space around me. So, so if somebody brings up something, um, my memory will just like feel like it's way over there. And I'm like, okay, yeah, it was probably in June, July area. Basically all my memories are just stored into that space too. So I just kind of mentally walk myself over there and just kind of look around and I just, all these memories will pop up around that location. And that pretty much helps me where, where things are and stuff, I don't know. K is like, woo, woo! <laughs> and look at it, it's just like doing its little own thing, jumping, having fun. It's happy, it's really happy. And it's just like out there, like sticking its arms out like, I'm K, woo! -hoo! Okay, three, three has a distinct face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so ugly. Okay, but three is so annoying. Oh my God. He's really needy and he's like, why are you not doing this for me? Why? When I looked at the alphabet, S and T had like this conflict and S, S would bully T. And I don't know, I guess it's because they're facing each other, but S has a really like mean, cruel attitude. And she uses her curves to get what she wants. She's so sassy. And then T is just this lanky little boy who wants to fit in. And he's like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I had synesthesia my entire life, so I never really thought that I was different. I thought everybody had it. Um, it wasn't until I was in eighth grade that me and my friend were sitting in gym class and I was just, we were just kind of bored. And um, I turned to her and I was just like, so Tammy, it, what color is A to you? And she was like, what? And I'm like, what, what color is A? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, come on, don't play stupid with me. What color is A? And she's like, no, Bailey, really, I don't know what you're talking about. And I got really kind of freaked out, like, what's, what's wrong with her? Or what's wrong with me? I didn't know. And I started feeling really, like, 
just really weird. Like something's wrong with me. Like I don't know what it is and I don't know if it's bad or, and I was just really confused for a long time until finally I was in class one day in my, my English teacher's um, class and she had this whole bookshelf. And on the side of one of the books it had, it was called a mango shaped space. And it had the, the letters on the side of the book were all different colors and they had different like fuzzinesses and textures and stuff the way I see them. So I was kind of like, hey, hey I kind of see the alphabet like that, but not exactly those colors. And I just was interested and I pulled out the book and I read the back and I figured out like, this girl has the same thing I have. And I read the whole book and I was so excited to know that, yeah, I was different, but I wasn't crazy. That something wasn't wrong with me. I was just, I had something different. And so I found out that I had synesthesia um, through that. Then once I started talking to more people, I started realizing that other people do have it. And so that was kind of cool to help my friends. I have three friends now who have synesthesia, who never knew they had synesthesia before. I get this letter from my cousin and she's like, oh yeah, I've realized something. I read this book and it had this girl and there's colors and letters and blah, 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 blah. And it's called synesthesia. And I'm like, oh. I've heard about that. Let me do some research. So I look it up and I'm reading and there's all these different experiences that I can relate to. I come to school and we're talking about synesthesia and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And I, I just kind of put two and two together and I was like, wait, I kind of have that. That kind of is what's going on up here, you know? People's voices have color to me. Um, music has color to me. Names have colored me. The whole alphabet has, uh, each letter has different colors, and then um, the way they're pronounced might change the color a little bit. Like my name's Bailey, so my name's purple, but then the rest of the colors, um, the rest of the letters, I mean, <laughs> throughout my name, kind of change the color of the the strong B because like the L is orange, and then the Y is kind of yellow. For me, A and four are the same color, and that just makes so much sense. My cousin has synesthesia, and sometimes we'll talk about it with each other, and um, he'll say like the the letter L is blue, and it, and it just like, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like, how can that even be possible? It's orange. Me and my other friend I met who has the same thing, we always talk about like stupid phrases where people say, oh, let's move the date back. And we're like, move the date back? That means you're moving it like, f like closer to me, not like farther away, which is something it, the language and you, how your brain works isn't meshing together. <laughs> Synesthesia for me, it can affect my moods because I have anxiety pretty bad. So like if I'm looking at, let's say I'm looking at a poster and it's in like one word's in cursive, one word's in a bold like Helvetica or something like that. And it just irritates me because they're like two different things and I'll be looking at that and I'm like, great, now my mind's like thinking, all right, well, that word is a whole different feeling than this word. When a letter is a capital, it has a whole different like adult feeling to it sometimes. And if it's lowercase, it's a different personality. So like capital E, that's like royal, lowercase e, happy-go-lucky little E. <laughs> Sometimes people say like, oh, well then you must be really great at remembering these things and like, you know, names and stuff. And I'm like, not really because it can actually hinder my remembrance of people's names. Like um, for me, Samuel and David have like the same colors. So I might meet someone and be like, oh, hi, my name's David. And then like a week later I meet that person. And I'm like, crap, <laughs> was it Samuel or David? Just, just silly things like that happen all the time. And it's okay though, you just work through it. It's irritating, especially when people use the you're making it up thing, which I think every synesthete experiences. Um, you know, you're, you're just really creative. You're just really um, imaginative. You're just insane. Just because we have synesthesia doesn't make us like freaks. It makes us intricate and significant. People who have this sometimes don't want to talk about it just because they don't want to be judged, I guess, but it's something you can't control. Like For anyone with synesthesia, their experience is automatic. 
If I just think about the letter A, it's automatically in my head pink. I don't have to even think about it. When I hear a sound, it's automatically that color. I don't have to sit and think like, oh, what color was that sound? I might have to think of how to describe it, but it just comes into my head so immediately. And I think anybody with synesthesia can agree with that. In my head, it's completely normal. I'm like, doesn't everyone see that? Well, finding out that I had synesthesia, if anything, it really changed my perspective about how different people can see the world in drastically different ways. Well, synesthesia is like a huge influence on me because it really changed how I look at things and like creativity is like the basic rule of life pretty much. And when you think about it, all these different letters and numbers, they all have their own stories and personalities. And it's just like, we're surrounded by these billions of people that we don't even know, but they've all got a story to tell and they all have something intricate about them. And it's just like, hey, these little numbers and letters have the same exact thing. So it's like, look at that. Um, I think synesthesia has made me more creative because you're so used to having these strange, abstract connections all the time. You know, shapes, light, music, light, <laughs> um, space, time, just all these strange connections. And that's really what creativity is, is finding the connections between two ideas that you've never really thought would connect before so beautifully. So I think, you know, being a writer, being a musician, those two things have really been influenced by my synesthesia. Having that unique perspective gives me the vantage point to understand other people's perspective. I can know this person thinks that way, it's like, oh, well, I think this way, and I see something dramatically different that I know nobody else in this room probably can relate to. So I like giving that experience to people to help show them that they're not alone and how they're so dramatically different. Um, everybody has their own unique flavor to the world. I kind of like it. I like to be different, so. It's, it's nice. I mean, some people don't understand it, which is okay for them, but I like it. Some people have art, some people are musically talented. I have synesthesia. Synesthesia has changed my life, definitely. It's not just a way of thinking, but really it's a way of seeing the world, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs>